It was supposed to be a big day for Starbucks. It's the company's annual Red Cup Day. But instead of going to work, many Starbucks employees went to the picket line. CBS 2's Nick Calloway reports now from Montclair, New Jersey, with more on this national strike. Low staff. Low staff. Low staff. Low staff. A rebellion is brewing at this Starbucks in Montclair. This is trying to put the pressure on Starbucks. Members of the Starbucks Workers Union went on strike outside more than 100 stores across the U.S. in what they call the Red Cup Rebellion. Employees say they are forced to work in constantly understaffed stores. We tend to have like a lot of burnout because of the lack of staffing, you know, and management generally doesn't care. Workers say it's not just a about staffing. They're demanding Starbucks come to the bargaining table in good faith to hammer out new union contracts. Union members say the company so far refuses to do so. Starbucks disputes that. A spokesperson told us the company respects the right of workers to lawfully protest and said in a statement, quote, we have been willing and continue to urge the union to meet us at the bargaining table to move the process forward in good faith. This Starbucks in Astoria, Queens was closed as a result of the strike. Another in Times Square also closed on what is usually a very busy Red Cup Day when the coffee giant hands out limited edition reusable holiday cups. Starbucks is withholding the bargaining from all Starbucks across the country and not letting them go to contract and withholding our union rights. And today we fight back. Union busting is disgusting. Back in Montclair, union workers had plenty of support from the community as they handed out free Dunkin' coffee to Starbucks customers who don't cross the picket line. In Montclair, New Jersey, Nick Calloway, CBS 2 News. More than 250 Starbucks stores have voted to unionize since last year. The company runs around 9,000 locations in the U.S.